Ooh, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times with Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Hermetic Crafting. And we're flying through Cherry Island, looking at our massive warehouse and factory that we completed in our last episode. And in today's episode, it is time to procure the redstone to make all of the components that we want to sell here on the Hermitcraft story. Wait, story? No, <laughs> it's not the story. It's a Hermitcraft server where there is an unquenchable appetite for redstone components and photos of my pecs. Okay, one of those is true, one of them's not. You choose which one's true and what one's not. But anyway, this is our massive factory and it is looking absolutely amazing. And there are always intruders coming from the nether regions. <laughs> Go back to go back to your underworld, my friend. Go back. Anyway, so this place is man. I really like this. And I'm so glad you guys liked it. It really gives off kind of a high tech factory feel. But where we're going to be working today is making what I'm going to say is the largest sweet berry farms in the entirety of Minecraft. And we're not going to build one. We're not going to build two. No, wait, we're actually just going to build two. I was going to go on to three, but we're not going to do that. Only two. <laughs> Don't want to get out of, out of myself there. So we're going to build two of them here and they're going to be absolutely amazing. And I cannot wait to start working on them. But as you saw at the beginning of this clip here, I don't have a shirt on and I'm gray. So that means I'm dead and I'm on the dead team and I need to build a crypt. But before to build the crypt, I have something really cool I want to show you back on the main island. We have flown over here to the fantasy district on the main island of Hermitcraft, and this area is one of the most beautiful and thematically immersive areas on the server. We have false symmetry that has gone above and beyond to create a beautiful fantasy area. Rendog with his dragon portal and the dojo. And of course, now Tango is back on the server building this absolutely amazing dragon helix sculpture. And it shows what a trio of amazing amazing minecrafters can do with such a loose theme of fantasy. Absolutely love this area and especially how it transitions over to the lush, the vivacious Concorp. <laughs> Hello Concorp, it has been quite some time since we've flown through here, but uh, yeah, this area is just absolutely incredible. And if you aren't following Falls, Tango, and of course Ren Diggity Dog, make sure you do because look at this area, absolutely beautiful. But what else is beautiful here on Hermitcraft is my diamonds inside the hourglass. I seem to continue to be flying through some elytra course today. Uh, but look at the progress of the diamond hourglass. It is really counting down. I think capturing the foxes in our last episode really pushed down some diamonds in our slow countdown to the reopening of Cherry. So once all the diamonds are down on the bottom of the hourglass, that is when Cherry will reopen and I will no longer be poor again. <laughs> Flying back into Cherry Island, you can see all the foxes down there getting ready for their new job inside the factory. So I've been coming up with some other little design touches that we can do in here once we start building out the actual farm system. So here is my plan as of now. We build out the farm, right? We build it just about as big as this entire room. We fill it with the foxes and of course the sweet berries, and then they're harvesting, doing their thing, and we'll have our minecarts down on the bottom level capturing. Now we'll probably split the two minecarts in half. So there's one over here and one over there going into separate um, unloaders here and here. And then they meet in the middle and then connect all the way to the other side where we repeat the same design. Now what I haven't figured out yet is where the central collection area will be. So if that makes sense, there'll be a, one farm two sets of minecarts, so it makes the process of picking it up a little bit faster. They meet over here, they unload on some kind of ice, you know, roadie thing, and then connect here, and then connect over to this guy. So somehow, I'm gonna figure out how to do that. But until I do, I'm gonna go make my death grip. On my way to the uh, haunted swamp here, I have found pressure plates. This could be the work of no other than Cub fan. Look at him. He's even online right now. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm already clicking him. You know what? I'm already dead. I'm going to brave it. <laughs> I'm going to brave it all the way across here. Okay. All right. It was just a uh, propaganda decoy. I like it. I appreciate it. Now that we're over here in the Grayskin's graveyard, we need to pick a place for our crypt. And boy, do I have an idea for the interior. It's gonna be amazing. And it looks like, oh, it's my head. Look at that, here, hold on, hold on. We gotta go next to it, hold on. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look at it. I was so colorful back in the day. Look, look, and so happy. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. Anyway, so what I'm thinking about doing is building it right here. And I, <laughs> I cannot wait to show you what I have planned. So let me start getting started with this. Let me clear the land, prepare it and then we can get building. Cleared the trees, built up the land, and got ourselves a layout of our creepy crypt. And I think this is gonna be really awesome. So, like I said, built out the land a little bit more here. And now, once we get the crypt built, and under my little like tomb coffin right here, we are gonna head down below where a wandering trader has made his home, and we're gonna build some fun things down here. And if you can guess what those things might be, let me know. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Anyway, let's jump in the super fast crypt building mode and build our final resting place. End of super fast build mode, and we've got ourselves one creepy little crypt in the back of the graveyard looking super fancy back there. So one thing I really wanted to strive with this design is to really make it feel like it was a part of this area the whole entire time. And I think we achieved that. So it's kind of nestled in the back here. It's got custom trees flanking on all ends, and it just kind of blends into the ground. I think that's so important when you are building, especially something a little more organic, is to really make it feel that it's a part of the landscape rather than just plunked on top of the landscape. So fun little building tip there. And that's something I always try to do. So make it really feel like it's part of that. And you can do that with, you know, adding trees really close up to it, adding the vines growing up on the sides, kind of mashing some of the aesthetics around here. But let's pop in the interior and it's fairly plain in here. Just your standard kind of walls, flooring, ceilings, things along those lines. And I'd like to add something to the walls here. Haven't decided what, but this little stone pedestal, that's what I'm excited about. I want to put a stone statue of myself as if this is my little stone coffin. So I think we can do some fun things with that. And if we head down to the lower area, that is where the magic's going to happen because I'm going to turn this area into a ghostly <laughs> gym. That's right. No more missing leg day. We're going to have our own gym down here. It's going to have bench presses, treadmills and everything. So yeah, maybe we can even do a pool. Oh, a pool would be amazing. Scar, are you there, man? I heard there was a gym. Oh, I'm here. This is Scar's Tomb Gym. Not a great name. I will admit that. I'll admit that right now. But it's a work in progress. Like this uh, statuary here. Turns out, Cub, you can't lay it down on the little pedestal. I wanted like the king, you know where they put the king in the cast of the king with like a sword and a, a shield, but no. But no, I can't do it. There's only one mm. who can, and that is Cleo. That? Human Cleo. Human Cleo. The ally of human Cleo. But do you think we can persuade her to come to the Deadlands? That'd be a good way to trap her, I think. <laughs> that you know, would be, bring, honestly. Bring her out here, you know, hey, we need your help on this armor stand thing. Boom, dead. Yeah, you know, <laughs> there <laughs> that we would go. be really funny. Back, back to her natural state of being a zombie. What's down here, man? Oh, that's where I get swole. This <laughs> you get swole? This is where you got your creatine hidden? You know, mm -hmm. you got your got your uh, HGH, human growth hormone? Protein yeah, powder right dispensers here. over here. Uh, eventually, oh, dude, that's such a good idea. I'm just, I'm just goofing around, but seriously, you could put, <laughs> you could put you can put like sugar or a bone meal or something in dispensers and you push it and it just shoots out like protein powder. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's such a good idea. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that'd be sweet, dude. That'd be sweet. So we need, yeah, so this is the gym. You got like a, is this supposed to be like a track or something here? Are you going to put in equipment? What's, what's the deal? Um, yeah, so we got the pool over here. It's, um, the water hasn't been cleaned in months just the way I like it. it helps with my pores. And so, <laughs> nice, you know, nice. that smell really like gets you going in the morning. I don't know about you, but it does to me. Yeah, um, over nice here, musty, moldy smell. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. Thinking right. about a treadmill, thinking about a bench press, pumping. Oh, yeah, bench press, pumping those weights, getting those mm -hmm. pecs pumped up. Yeah. <laughs> got to have some free Ooh. weights. Okay. What about, hang on, you got, you got a pool here. Where's the hot tub at? Oh, I don't have a hot tub. Oh, you got to get a hot tub, man. You got to get in there and soothe the muscles after you work out, right? <laughs> That is actually That's what really it is, true. man. Yeah, pro athletes, you know, maybe an ice bath too. You know, have a hmm. hot tub and ice bath. Hmm. Okay, worlds. okay, okay. I'm thinking. I'm thinking here. Yeah. What if? What if we have 
like over here free weights kind of push the wall back a little and then uh -huh. on this side over here we get some like bench presses right bench press oh, treadmills yeah. Pump and back here, right here. Yep. the hot tub that's right the we're hot rocking tub. hot in the tub mm -hmm. i like it mm -hmm. i like it a lot mm -hmm. along with protein Sweet. powder can you put protein powder in the hot tub for extra effect yeah you absorb it through your pores man that's how it works <laughs> these are just facts man i just these are these are bro facts. workout facts of course of course <laughs> the best this is kind. pretty sweet though this i gotta give it to you this is a nice uh, little crypt you got going here welcome to hermitcraft tune crypts step on inside we'll give you a little tour of my spooky little home and inside here of course we have a statue memorializing scar and his stony flesh and unfortunately, I cannot get it to lay flat. So we'll see if Zombie Cleo can head on over here and manipulate this armor stand to lay flat, put a shield across my chest and a sword, and I think it would look absolutely fantastic. But where the magic happens is on the backside here. And if we head on downstairs, we can see we've got a pool over here looking super fancy. And of course, a treadmill and a bench press. So the treadmill is running over here. You get up on the mat here and you just start running. So that's awesome. Moving over here, we've got a bench press and free weights on the back wall. So all color coordinated for the different weights. And once you're all done working out, you gotta pop a little protein powder in you. So we got that ready to roll there with protein powder inside. So yeah, I think this tomb fits us very well and hopefully you guys like it, but it is now time to head back to Cherry Island and start working on the foxes and the sweet berries because that is going to be a lot of work. Welcome back to Cherry Island and we're just clearing out the pests of the island and that looks like we're clear. All right, so now that that is taken care of, let's head inside of Module Alpha where this is our first step in procuring the emeralds for our purchasing of redstone. So we're gonna build out the Sweetberry Farm and I think I've got a few ideas how this will go. We'll build the standardized kind of a retrieval mechanism that will be below the farm and that's with the rails. So when the fox picks the Sweetberry, it falls onto a rail system that sweeps it off to a centralized storage area that I do not fully understand how to make yet. So that is gonna be a bit of a challenge. So it'll be dual, uh, retrieval systems so two minecarts harvesting the main uh, farm and then somehow these connect together and then they'll connect together with this farm it is slightly over my head but together we're going to try to do the impossible and that is scar does complicated redstone and now i'm on fire this is not looking good my friends we're going down <laughs> So let me burn to death and I will uh, start the process of getting the structure built. Extinguish myself with death and also built the structure to the farm and things are definitely looking good here. So we have a pretty big space for our sweet berries. And as you can see where the quartz runs across here, that is where I'm going to run a row of glass across here. And that'll prevent the foxes from jumping out and then easy access in case I need to go into the farm. And Appears I broke the door over there. There's a missing block. So we'll have to fix that. Along with the lighting above, it is a little bit off now that we've added these walls here. So that will just have to be adjusted. So no big deal on that account. But heading on down, we're going to start running the rails here. So I've got the rails in the inventory. And what we're going to do is we're going to start them, you know, just, just like right here or something. And then they're going to span all the way across here and cover every single block inside the farm. So when the minecart's rolling across, it picks up the things above via minecart hop. So yeah, <laughs> this is our first step towards redstone. So wish me luck. My mistake. <laughs> I created another unintentional mob farm, but quickly saved it with some lighting in the center of the farm. And what we need to do now that the rails are built down below here, looking super fancy, all crisscrossing, we need to start adding the sweet berries to the area. And then we can bring the foxes in. They're just chilling out in their pen. I put some ice in there and they're kind of flying around on it and it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> Look at how cute these foxes are with their little leashes. <laughs> I tried to demonstrate the ice thing, but without another hermit that doesn't have traits with them, it didn't really work out. Wait, come on guys, stop sleeping on the job. <laughs> it's not nap time, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to jump in here without dying, so I'm gonna break that sweet berry there. Sweet, okay. Nope, 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 everybody in here. Everybody in here before I die. <laughs> okay, let's grab the leads and hold on, I need to get out of here before I die. And why, why? Okay, first of all, I'm, I'm kind of stuck. I've got four hearts to spare and everybody's asleep. 
What the heck is going on? Okay, um, hold on. I'm gonna break this. Oh, no, no, don't type a sweet berry scar. Don't. Okay. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, that's so humiliating. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Let's keep this between you and me, please. Well, that was embarrassing. Not as embarrassing as the fact that I have a bunch of sleepy foxes on the job and they will not work. <laughs> I do not understand this. So I'm going to take a few minutes here and check the wiki and figure out why the second they came inside, they just got super sleepy. But uh, in the meantime, I want to show you what I've worked out for the storage. So got a very simple storage array setup. We've done this in many times before. So we have the minecart track coming up here. There's a hopper. There is a comparator. There is redstone. There's also dust on this block right there. And then it works down into two chests. So, yeah, I think that's going to work really good. And I'm hoping. Yes, there they are. I was like, where did my leads go? So the minecart picked them up and look at that. 10 sweet berries already in the hoppers. Um, so then, of course, let me break this block. We'll drop down and you can see the minecarts moving along. That is the halfway point right there, that darker white block right there. So we just need to build the left hand side of the storage system. That'll be all set and um, somehow wake the foxes up. Our foxes have now become productive members of the Cherry Corporation at night. It turns out they require very specific light levels that I didn't know about. So now that we do, we need to figure out how to keep them awake in the day because the hermits are going to be sleeping at night and we're going to lose all of our work time with the foxes. <laughs> so I was reading the wiki and it said that if there is another mob nearby, it will keep them awake. So what we could do is find a mob and put it inside of the farm. Now, the problem with that is, and I did some test world, <laughs> I dropped it in there and it died in the berry bushes. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to think about positioning maybe two mobs in here and then putting them in some kind of glass case along with fixing the lighting in the center here. If I do that, I think I can keep them awake in the day. Let's see if this works. There can only be one mob in Minecraft that we can trust to keep those foxes in line. And that is jelly. We're going to need your assistance back at Cherry Island. It's time to wave goodbye to Area 77. You provide a good service here, keeping all those aliens in line. Are, are you kidding me? I, I'm, I'm walking along here with Jelly and Airport Cat, and they're going to be the mobs keeping the foxes in line. And this thing just opened up and the cat just fell out. What in the world? <laughs> what is this trap? The poor cat! We're gonna save her! Well, that's gonna be difficult to get by. Careful guys, we got projectiles coming in fast. Tell me the baby jelly's not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Now I've got some cats bred up here. These are the two cats that I'm going to bring into the little tube chambers over here. So hopefully once I drop those cats into there, that will keep the foxes active throughout the day, hopefully. After an extensive amount of trial and error, we now have a fully functional sweet berry farm. And the foxes, as you can see, are active 24 hours now. Whew, that was a lot of work because all the effort it took to go and get those cats was for nothing, unfortunately, because the cats had no effect on our foxes. They continued to be nocturnal foxes. And once I brought the pig and the cow into the farm, the foxes instantly lit up and started running around harvesting them sweet berries. So I guess maybe it's to do with a pet versus a wild animal. I don't know, maybe you could let me know because I would prefer the cats in those little activity chambers because I think that would be really funny. And I went to a lot of work to go get Jelly and bring her here plus airport cat. So yeah, well, I mean, at least we got Jelly over here, but I'm also curious to see what the activity of this farm has. And I think it's been operating for Fully functional, maybe like 30, 20 minutes. That is a lot more than I thought. That's like 18 more stacks than I thought there would be. Wow. Okay, well, hmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a lot of sweet berries for such a short amount of time. Plus, it's not even like 100% efficient. Look, we're missing some berries along here. So yeah. 
we made a very successful farm. We need to make some decisions on how the future of this infrastructure is going to work together. Now, in light of the absolutely massive sweet berry drops that we're getting from this farm, I do not know if it is still relevant to build an additional farm on this side over here, which was my plan. And then we we're going to link them together in one central storage area. Now, if we choose not to do that, we could build a bamboo farm in this area instead. So in the comments, what would you like to see? Another sweetberry farm or a bamboo farm on that side for sticks? Now, these two storage arrays are not connected up. And look at all those sweet berries. Now, the reason I have not connected those together is if we decide to only have one section of sweet berries over there, we could have the sweet berries sent up to the upper level with an item elevator. And then, of course, they would be easy access for the villagers who live here in the villager hall. So, yeah, that's kind of what I've been thinking about planning how this will all work together. So, yeah, let me know if I should make another sweetberry farm or not. And until then, I'm going to start working on a little bit of detail in here. It needs a little something on the walls, and maybe that back wall could use a giant cherry. Mm -hmm. That's right. That is one giant big old cherry at the end of the farm. And I got this area pretty well cleaned up. Got some ventilation shafts around the room. Um, of course, the giant cherry in the back. Now, our noise makers or movement machines, whatever we want to call these things in the center, I decided to swap the cow for a pig. And that allowed me to lower them down a little bit. So they're a little less intrusive to the overall design of the farm. And I cut out the middle lights here. And I think that just makes everything look a little bit nicer. And uh, I think the room has a nice level of detail and functionality. It's a good blend of the two. And yeah, I'm very happy about this because we have some operational farms here at the Cherry Factory. In our next episode, we will fully connect this to the upstairs and of course get villagers so we can start trading with all of these sweet berries. This, <laughs> that is a lot of sweet berries in such a short amount of time. But there we go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today. And until next time, this is but good sounds with Scar and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos and people leave the videos already ready. That would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to subscribe because you may just become scared from life.